Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogtober day 4 now it is I think. So it will be the 7th of October today as um, it has now been a full week since I started Vlogtober which is very exciting. So this morning I thought I'd just show you my routine of getting ready and my everyday makeup and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's go. This morning I'm going to be using uh, the Glow in the Dark Fun Bar for the first time um, and I think I'm going to use it as a bubble bar in the bath and um, usually I'd have a shower just for um, timing reasons but I thought I'd slow down today and show you um, how I'll get ready if it was like a deep like pampering kind of session um, as a kind of way to celebrate um, one week of doing Vlogtober I'll be using the um, ghost in the dark soap again um, and yeah I, I've just come back from work so I'm a little bit sweaty but I don't think my hair necessarily needs a wash so I might just put in some dry shampoo today. So this product and the soap that I will be using are the exact same scent which I think is the lemongrass oil um, and yeah so that's all I'm pretty much going to say for now I am going to start running the bath and my bath is literally the most tedious bath it takes so long but yeah it'll be worth it in the end because I'm going to pamper myself I might even do a face mask and the face mask that I use is the coffee one also from Lush as you can tell I'm a bit of a Lush fan excuse the noise of the bath um, but I just thought before I got in I'd show you my skincare routine um, as I need to do that before I put on my face mask um, I'm just going to show you the products that I use um, rather than uh, showing you because it can get a little bit messy and there's a bunch of laundry right behind me where the shop would be so I'm just going to show you for now um, the products and I can show you how I use them another day but I basically use for exfoliator I use the Body Shop Drops of Light Pure Resurfacing Liquid Peel as an exfoliant and this works so well because you can see it working as well so you basically you put it on your face um, without any water you put it on dry skin and as you rub it in um, you can see the dry skin coming off and then you just wash off all that dry skin and residue that was on your face and then at the minute I am using the Neutrogena Visibly, Visibly Clear Spot Proofing Wash as I am breaking out a bit. So yeah, and then I put the face mask on and then I'll show, the, show you the other end of the um, face routine as I will show you that in my room after I've finished um, pampering and all of that kind of stuff. I've got a playlist set up, like a spa relaxing music playlist and I'm just going to go grab my book and I'm just going to spend 15 to 20 minutes just sitting and um, taking out a moment in the day to just de-stress and get ready for the day. And as per usual I'm going to be reading Harper Lee's Go Set a Watchman. So first for skincare I'm going to be using the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner which is a calming toner for your skin. I got this as a sample after my facial that I mentioned that I went to on Saturday. I've currently run out of cotton pads so I'm just going to have to be inventive and just kind of pat it on my skin. It's really important to use toner as it resets the pH of the skin after um, especially after using a mask but importantly after using a cleanser and then whilst that's soaking in I am going to use the pumpkin spice lip scrub from Lush then what I'm going to take is my Elemis superfood AHA glow booster which has pumpkin and fermented rice in it I believe the lady said um, she used this on me during my facial and I absolutely loved it I really like the whole glowy skin look so generally when I go for serums I do go for a glow booster like this I also have the serum in the drops of light range um, at the body shop that I use the exfoliator of I usually use that one but I thought I'd go something different for now. Please excuse my hair, it's really sweaty from being in the bath. Um, which is a bit kind of, did I need to know that? But I've told you anyways. Next, I'm going to use the Body Shop Coconut Lip Butter. Just to moisturise my lips whilst I am doing my makeup. 
And then finally, I'm going to use the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturiser, again with the glow kind of theme. Vitamin C is really good for revitalising kind of dull skin, which is something that I do deal with um, from lack of sleep and... Um, from stress on skin as I mentioned I am currently a student and that can get fairly stressful and naturally with any sort of job it can get um, rather stressful. It's also because I am a little bit bad and I don't drink as much water as I should. And so yeah that is just my simple skincare routine for the morning and all that's left to do is um, I use this Elifexia, interesting name, um, anti-stretch marks repairing and preventing cream as I deal with quite a few stretch marks um, around my thighs and up my back and um, around this area on my arms. It's not necessarily that I hate my stretch marks. Um, I think they're a part of me and I do, I've learned to love, I think they're a part of me and I've learned to love them, however, um, especially around this time of year, they can get um, very red and, um, they can get very red and kind of inflamed, so I just use this, which has a fairly interesting smell, but a not bad one, but interesting um it has scotch thistle extract and cantella acidica leaf extract um so yes this is what i use it's been working for me at the minute however i haven't been able to compare it long term as i haven't been using it for that long but once i have i will definitely let you know if you are also a girl looking for a product to help with stretch marks um i will let you know Okay, so the first thing that I use in my makeup routine is this colour correcting anti redness primer from Revolution uh, Pro. So I use this as because, as you can see, I deal with a bit of redness, especially after face masks and even just doing my skincare routine. Every time I kind of touch my skin, it gets um, a little bit red or a little bit angry with me but it's just something that I deal with. Um, it's not because I'm having a reaction, it's literally just because of heat and just, people with sensitive skin might just get what I mean. When I touch it or do anything to it, it's just like, right, time to be a lobster. <laughs> I then fill in my brows with another Revolution product and this is just the, um, this is just the brow pencil and spoolie. Um, I don't do too much more than this to my brows. I just line that. I just outline them. I fill them in, and then I shape them with concealer. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then get back to you. So to define and conceal, I am using yet another Revolution product, which is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. Um, I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out now. Um, it's not because I've been sent anything or I'm sponsored to say anything. Um, I just really like Revolution products. I really trust them as a brand for high quality for an affordable price. Um, and I just use this brush. I think it's also a Revolution brush. To, um, it's double sided and I just use this side to define my brows. Um, I'm going to move on to foundation now and this isn't a, res a revolution product so here we go. Um, this is the Collection Illuminating Touch Foundation. Gives skin a natural lum luminosity. Um, I really like this foundation for that reason. It's very luminous and it's also not full coverage and heavy as I do really like my freckles actually so I um, like them to kind of shine through a bit um, and it also just gives me a dewy glow as I prefer um, a dewy glow to a um, matte one so I'm just going to put that on my face and then use this sponge a damp beauty blender 
um, to uh, blend it out. So, so to conceal, I'm just going to go back and use that same concealer that I used to carve out my brows. Um, I'm not going to put this on too heavy as it is quite full coverage, but I'm just going to use it to highlight the skin and to put over any of my breakouts and uh, the redness around my nose and just underneath my eyes. I don't use too much foundation around my eyes as it is important not to put too much product um, as that's what causes the lines underneath. So I'm just going to use that same beauty blender to blend that out. And then as the final step for the base of my face, I'm going to be using this collection contour stick. Everything's rubbed off as you can see. I've had it for quite a while. I use it in um, the light one as I evidently have very fair skin. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that. A lot less than the um, previous vlog that you would have seen um, when I went out on Sunday. So yes, I just put that on all the areas of my face that I would like to contour or warm up and I use this sponge instead of this one for um, the contour as to not mix up the colours. So the last step for the base is I am just going to use this Glow Fix setting spray to set all of the base down so it stays underneath the powder. Going along with the glowy theme, I did choose the Glow Fix specifically to for a dewy kind of look. It looks really dewy right now, but that's just because my face is wet. It won't dry like this. For powder, I'm going to be using the collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder, which has witch hazel in it, um, so helps with anti-acne and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to be using the Revolution uh, Stippling Brush to... Um, apply that onto more concentrated areas. Next to warm up my skin I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the medium shade. Just lightly applying that with um, a buffing brush. I'm then going to add a little bit of colour to my face using this Natural Collection bl uh, Blush um, which I've had for yonks but it's the only brush that I actually own and I'm just going to use this brush from Revolution to apply it. Then I'm going to use the Balm Cosmetics Merry Luminizer and I'm going to just apply this to my forehead and on my cheekbones. And then going to apply it to the inner corners of my eyes, my brow bone, and on the tip and bridge of my nose, and on to my cupid's bow. And so I'm now going to go away, put some dry sh shampoo in my hair and brush it out and get dressed. And then I will come back and show you the finished look. This is the makeup look that I go for on the days that I decide to wear makeup. As I said in October day one, I am, I do work in a primary school as a child play worker. So there's generally not too much point in wearing makeup. But sometimes if I have a bit of spare time throughout the day, I do like to get a bit dolled up. Not too much, as you can see, it's not like full glam. Um, and there are restrictions like I can't wear eyeshadow and um, kind of lipstick at work because there essentially is no reason to. Um, so yeah, and as a kind of theme that you may have now noticed, I do use a lot of the same products from the same brand. And that is usually because once I find a brand that I like and I, and I think is trustworthy, I don't see much reason to deviate to other brands. Obviously, 
every now and then trying something new out like the Elemis items that I've been trying out um, is fun to do and you know discovering new makeup brands and all that kind of stuff but I do just find it a lot more simpler to find all of my things in one place with a brand that I trust and I know the prices are going to be what I like and in my budget so yeah that is the final makeup look and I'm just wearing um, a long sleeve black t-shirt and leggings and I am going to put on a cardigan that I will show you later but pretty much what I'm going to do for the next few hours is schoolwork so I won't bore you with all that and I will just go and get on with it now. One thing I did forget to mention is the perfume and body spray that I actually use. I use the All Good Things Perfume by Lush. I just put that on my neck and on my wrists and then as a kind of body spray that I just spray three times on like my actual front is the uh, Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret so I can get the kind of woody and oaky scents from All Good Things and then still add a bit of soft vanilla in there with that one if that makes sense so yeah that's just what I do every day. Is now a significant time later it is now 10 30 at night so I just thought I'd run you through the rest of what my day was I did a little bit of editing went to work came home got an Italian takeaway um, with family and then I went to my boyfriend's house and Sad to say, we are actually addicted to Riverdale, which I know is quite a cringe show, but we just can't stop watching. We're on season two and we just can't, we, we need to follow the storyline. So yeah, I just wanted to say um, good night to the vlog and welcome to the second week of October. Bye.